Before we discuss the distant periods of water in the Gulf, let's explain exactly what a hurricane is. A hurricane is the next step up from a tropical storm with wind speeds of 74 miles per hour, and a high is 157 miles per hour. How does a hurricane start? According to weatherwizkids.com, hurricanes only form over really warm ocean water of 80 degrees or warmer. The atmosphere must cool off very quickly, and the higher you go, also, the wind must be blowing in the same direction and at the same speed to, of, to force air upward to the ocean surface. Winds flow outward above the storm, allowing the air below to rise. And boy, I complain about rainy days. So now that we know what a hurricane is capable of, we can now understand the amount of damage it caused to the state of Florida, nearly covering the entire state. The phenomenon was strong enough to turn the Pensacola Bay into Pensacola Sandbox. If it did this much, then there's bound to be some pretty dangerous situations, such as how Scott Hagen, director of the Center for Coastal Resiliency at Louisiana State University, hypothesizes, it is within the realm of possibility that the water comes back more dramatically than if it were just a surge blowing up on land without the water being removed from the shore areas by the wind ahead of the eye of the storm. Fortunately, that situation was avoided as Pensacola barely even got a drizzle. Though it seems the worst of Irma is over, we can be certain that this is not the end and the effects will have a lasting result. As hundreds of thousands of households are already stocked with packs of water, gas tanks, and multiple electricity generators, assuming there won't be any for a while. However, there are people banding together to help in each other's time of need such as charities like Global Giving having set up campaigns to boost the relief of Hurricane Irma. On their website, they have set up donations to help support the cause. According to the website, if you donate, all donations to this fund will support recovery and relief efforts for Hurricane Irma. Initially, the fund will help first responders meet for food, fuel, clean water, hygiene products, and shelter, once initial relief work is complete, this fund will transition to support longer-term recovery efforts run by local vetted organizations responding to this disaster. If you want to go help, go to www.globalgiving.org slash project slash Hurricane Irma Relief Fund. I'm Adam. Back to you, anchors.